Well with Dr. Mel. I'm Dr. Mel, licensed physical therapist and holistic health coach. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. You'll get access to all my free physical therapy tips and tricks. In this video, we're going to go through a gentle stretching yin yoga style exercise routine to help with neck, shoulder, and arm stiffness and tension. If you're somebody who does heavy arm and shoulder work, you want to come back to this video regularly to stretch out those muscles and help with the fatigue and tightness. If you're ready, let's get started. Let's place a pillow under your butt. Get in a nice seated position, tall spine. Turn your head over your right shoulder back to neutral and then over your left shoulder. Nice deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. As you turn to the right, you take a nice deep inhale. As you come back to neutral, you exhale and then back to the left. Go at your own pace. Follow the rhythm of your breath, rotating the neck, right, neutral, and then left. With every exhale, you release some tension. Looking up towards the ceiling, going into neck extension, and then chin to chest, going into neck flexion. This is gonna prepare us for our practice, loosening up the muscles of our neck, following the rhythm of your breath, chin to chest, chin to ceiling neck flexion now we'll do ear to shoulder chin to chest ear to opposite shoulder getting a nice stretch through our trapezius muscles loosening those up chin to chest nice deep breath Ear to left shoulder, chin to chest, and go at your own pace, whatever feels good. Ear to opposite shoulder. Chin to chest. Ear to left shoulder. Chin to chest and then ear to right shoulder and let's hold this one out. Place your left hand towards the mat to get a deeper stretch through your left trap. Place your hand on the side of your head. Don't pull here, just lay your hand on your temporal bone and just allow gravity to pull the ear towards your right shoulder, getting a deeper stretch through your left trap. Make sure you're breathing, releasing the tension all along your left trapezius muscle. Beautiful, chin to chest, letting that go. And then ear to left shoulder, extending the right hand towards the mat placing the left hand on the side of your head, tilting the left ear towards your shoulder, getting a deep stretch through the right trapezius muscle, releasing all the tension from right shoulder to right ear. Allow the ear to melt towards the left shoulder, just using the weight of the hand and gravity to get deeper into the stretch. No need to pull here. And then you can let that go, chin to chest, and back to neutral. Let's place our hands in prayer in the front of our heart center, the front of our chest. And you can begin to circle the wrists. 
loosening up the wrists here, preparing for our arm stretches. The nerves from our neck go all the way down to our hands. So it's very important to loosen and lubricate these joints just by doing these circular motions in our wrists. Regain synovial fluid, blood flow, promotes healing. You can try to bring your elbows and forearms a little closer together so you're just isolating at the wrist joints. Clasping the fingers if needed. And then we'll remove the pillow if you have one and we'll come to a tabletop position. Just weight shifting left and right, loosening up our forearms and wrist joints a little bit more. Just go back and forth at your own pace. If your forearms are tight here, this stretch might be intense, but you're gonna flex your wrists, bringing your fingers towards your knees, and then rock back and forth here. If you haven't stretched your forearms in a while, this might be intense. So just gently rocking forwards and backwards. We'll do our left hand first. Placing the hand back on the mat and then switching to our right wrist, bringing our fingers towards our knees and rocking back and forth with a straight elbow. Beautiful, place your hands back on the mat flat and sit back onto our heels, coming into a kneeling position. Take a few breaths here, sitting nice and tall, and then bring your hands out to the side, bending your elbows, and then just moving your elbows and wrists in a circular motion, loosening up and lubricating the joints in the circular motion allowing for new synovial fluid, new blood flow to the joints. Go in both directions, just big circles here. Nice and slow or a little fast at your own pace, whatever feels good here. Nice range of motion. Then we're gonna go into an Egyptian pose. So you're gonna place the left palm up and then external rotation of the right palm. And then switch, right palm up. And back and forth. So both palms are up. One in internal rotation, the other in external rotation. Going back and forth here. And then we're going to do some scapular squeezes with your shoulders and elbows, bringing them back, squeezing the shoulder blades together and then bringing the right hand under the left when they, as they come in front of you. Drawing the shoulder blades back, bringing one hand under the other, and then we'll come into eagle by wrapping the right hand around the left forearm as far as you can. Elbows glued together, hands and arms right in front of your face. For a modification, if you can't wrap the forearms, you can just keep the left hand straight for a tricep stretch. But if you can clasp those hands at the top, you'll get deeper stretch through the shoulder joints, releasing the tension in the back of the shoulders, 
top of the neck and upper back, especially if you do heavy arm workouts. This stretch is wonderful. Now let's switch hands, bringing the left hand underneath the right, going into a scap, shoulder blade squeeze, and then bringing the left hand under the right and coming back and squeezing. I'll face forward for the camera so you can see the eagle arms. Now with the right hand under the left, wrapping around the left forearm, trying to clasp the hands together. Elbows glued to touch, one elbow on top of the other, forearms wrapping around one another. Getting a deep stretch through the back of the shoulders, upper back, shoulders and neck muscles, all being stretched here. Release that and come back into a scapular squeeze, bringing those shoulder blades back. Then we're gonna come back into a tabletop position, knees, forearms, all on the mat, reaching our right hand up and then threading it under the left, dropping the shoulder down to the mat, ear to the mat, resting more into a yin yoga style stretch now, longer holds. If you want to extend the left hand along to the edge of the mat, you can do so here. And then you're just resting your ear on the mat, resting the right shoulder on the mat, trying to relax here for a nice prolonged shoulder stretch. If your arms long, slowly bring it back in front of your face. Press back up, extend that right arm up towards the ceiling one last time and then place it back onto the mat. Then we'll shift our weight to the right hand and then place our fingers towards our knees for a nice, stretch of our forearms coming into a cat cow lifting our chest and then rounding our back and again chin to chest rounding the back then looking back up to the ceiling chest forward loosening the spine here chin to chest rounding the back And let's get out of that heavy forearm stretch, coming back to neutral, and then lifting the left arm up towards the ceiling, threading that needle, resting the left shoulder onto the mat, left, left ear on the mat, extending that arm long if you would like to, and then just resting here for a prolonged shoulder stretch, trying to melt here into the mat, letting everything go. Getting a nice deep stretch here. So a lot of the times when a stretch is bothering you just means you need it more don't avoid it just go to the point you can and try to sit in it the tighter you are 
the more pain you may have with some of these stretches. But don't avoid it. Very important to just try your best and continue to come back to your practice to release the tension and the pain. The more it, it is tight, the more you need it. When you're ready, bring your hand back in front of your face and then press back up, reaching that left arm to the ceiling and placing the hand back on the mat. Sitting back towards your heels, nice and tall. I'm just taking some deep breaths here in through the nose and out through the mouth. Doing a body scan, seeing how you feel now after performing all those neck and arm stretches. Placing your hands in prayer in the front of the chest, sealing your practice. Thanking yourself for making it to the mat today. Taking care of your body. One final deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth with a prolonged sigh, letting everything go. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.